So, is it possible to sing better in five minutes? Yes. I'm gonna help you with that right now. Number one, number one, first thing you're gonna do if you have to sing something and you wanna improve instantly. First thing, who's your audience? If you know your audience, if you're singing to a baby, it's totally different than singing to your parents or boyfriend or girlfriend. So figuring out what your audience wants to hear. They already want to hear something and if you give them that, they'll think you're better because singing is all about perception. If you like it, then I've done my job. I'm effective. So, number one, recognizing your audience. Number two, picking something you're passionate about. You have to sing something, if, if you're not sure what to sing and you wanna get better and be an effective singer right now, ask yourself what you're going through right now. What are you going through? Are you going through a breakup? Are you in love? Are you hating on somebody? Like, what are you going through right now? Picking a song that has those emotions connects instantly. And so you don't even have to act. You can just, just be yourself, sing, and the emotion will find itself. One huge thing that improves singing instantly is dynamics. Dynamics are loud, soft, high, low, adding air, taking it away, you know, adding vibrato, taking it away, making it interesting. Dynamics make things interesting. They're colors, you know, they're like primary colors that you're putting together for a portrait. And you need to use these colors to make the portrait interesting. Dynamics, dynamics, dynamics. So instead of singing something that's the same, you know, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and all that farm, what do you have? You know, like, you can get loud, soft, you can add vibrato, you can take it away, you can add air. You know, these are things that help you sound interesting. You want to be interesting. People perk up when they hear a change. Also, one simple thing that people don't do when they sing, move your mouth. Move your mouth. People don't do it because they get away with talking lazy, and you don't have to move your mouth very much when you talk because people understand you. If you talk like this, people understand you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But as soon as I start singing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, it doesn't work. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Just moving your mouth makes you sound like you know what you're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Will always be better than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Move your mouth. Another obvious thing, maybe it's not obvious, is picking a shorter song. Well, there's no reason to sing a five minute song when you can sing a one and a half minute song and people think that they've heard a five minute song. Take a song, pick the good parts, leave out the parts that are repetitive, that you, that you feel like you don't wanna do or that you feel are boring. You can leave out pieces of songs and you can make people think they've heard things that they haven't heard. So if you shorten the song, make it interesting and dynamic, be expressive, you can be way more effective. So instead of going to an audition and starting with the very beginning of the, of the intro and the whole verse and then going to the second verse, get to the point, do a few lines of the verse, skip to the pre-chorus, get to the chorus, get to the big note, and end it. People feel like they've gone on a journey that they love in a much shorter time. Another simple trick while we're talking about this journey is a long note. Most people think long notes come from very good singers. People love long notes. They love when you hold out a note. Those are like the biggest songs. Like when, you know, and I, I will always love you. You just hold out a note. It's the same note, but people are like, whoa, that's so impressive. Or, you know, you're here, there's nothing to fear. You know, when you hold out a note, it just makes it better. People like long notes, especially people who don't sing. They think that that's the hardest part of singing, even if it's not. Hold out a note. Pick one note, hold it out. Maybe close your eyes on that note. Finally, adding a little puff of air at the end of a note can improve the way it sounds. And it's an interesting thing I, I picked up from my favorite singers, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson. So if I'm saying, this is the end of the song, that's not as effective as, this is the end of the song. I just added a dramatic, I let the rest of my air that was in me out. And so that instantly makes it more um, emotional. Air equals emotion. I love you. That's nice. You can believe me or not. Most likely not. But if I say, I love you, 
I love you. I love you. You almost believe me. Well, you get the point. I hope this makes you an excellent, effective singer. Ding! There's gonna be new videos every week. Leave a comment, let me know what you like. Let me know if there's questions that I can answer for you. And hit the like button. And if you wanna see more of these every week, hit subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>